Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The topic that uh, we'll cover today is uh, from paper three. It is from chapter Interstate Futures and the topic is tuition based hygiene. Uh, we'll look at the uh, nice question, which will, which may appear easy, but uh, eventually there are a lot of traps in the question. So stay connected till the end, and I'll explain you the uh, hedging concept in detail. And please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please do like, comment if you have there are any further queries. And uh, share with your friends so that they also get benefited out of it. And trust me, it takes a lot of efforts to come up with uh, videos like this. So let's have a look at the question. So, yeah. so there is a fund manager who is, uh, has a dollar seventy five million portfolio with a duration of nine. And uh, he has to hedge it for one year. There is one year future contract available at the price of this and duration of this. And the contract size is $100K. Which of the following actions should the fund manager undertake to provide an appropriate hedge for a small changes in the year? First of all, uh, given we are, we are long on the bond portfolio, so there would be a opposite direction on the hedging instrument or future instrument. So the eligible answer for this question are A and C. We'll see how many contracts. So there are two aspects to it. First of all, I'll give you the concept of hedging. If you are keen, you can Hedging. So if you are long on one portfolio or your concerning point is raising interest rate will lead to losses. So what you can do, go short on futures. So when now we be very careful, this is very important. When your R goes up, the way interest rate futures are quoted are like 100 minus R. So when your R goes up, this particular expressions go down and you are short. So this will lead to gain. So R goes up, 100 minus R go down and you end up gain, getting a gain because you are short. So be very careful with this. This is a concept of hedging bonds using bond futures or interest rate futures. Now, second important point is uh, convention of quoting this bond futures. So you this high, this is a hyphen, not really a decimal. So you have to divide this by 32. So if you divide this by 32 and you end up giving 104.40625. And if at all, just a default additional information, if at all this you have been given something happen 13 plus, then you have to divide this by uh, 13 by 64. This is just for your additional information. Pricing convention and this hedging instrument. This is just for your additional information. Otherwise, there's formula for this is direct your portfolio value, value of portfolio. Times duration of portfolio and divided by value of your futures times duration of your future. So we'll just quickly plug and play. So if you are uh, negative times with negative because you have to be in opposite direction. 75 million six times six zeros and nine and value of the future contract. See now the value of future or uh, this particular future is 104.40625 and the power value is uh, I mean contract size is 100k. So your future value be very careful, don't multiply 104 
with uh, 100k. So it would be 104406.25. So this is the value of your future contract. Don't multiply 100 with this. That that would be wrong. But it's just uh, uh, this your 100k will become 104k. And your duration is 8. I multiply this in denominator. I get around 675 millions. And denominator is just denominator. It will give you 835, 250, which comes around if I divide this, it's coming, it's coming around 808.1012.75, which is approximately equal to Minus, 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 minus short 809 pictures. The correct answer is C. Hope you like the video. If yes, please do share with your friends, peers who are already preparing for a foreign exam. Thank you very much for watching. Stay connected.